I'm back with Mega Movie Numbers, where we run down physical media by the numbers. First, we start with going over our top 20 selling 4K Ultra HD disc of a previous week. I give you my thoughts and recommendations on every single title. And then, of course, we get into the market share breakdown, where we look at all the different disc formats, DVDs, Blu-rays, 4Ks, see how well they're selling in comparison to one another. And then we get into making some predictions of how physical media has been selling and how it will do in the future. So let's get right into this top list. And wow, at the bottom, we still got John Wick Chapter 4 just holding on for dear life. But as long as there is a movie report, John Wick will be on here in some way, shape, or form. Next up, we got Trolls Band Together from Universal and DreamWorks. This is a fun family movie. Great music in here. Great voice acting. Some comedic talent. And I just enjoyed this one overall. Next up, we got The Thing from Universal. This one will pop up once in a while back on this list. It's just a great John Carpenter kind of thriller horror mystery movie. And you got Kurt Russell and great practical effects. What else can you say? Next up, we got The Fugitive from Warner. This is a great kind of detective mystery story of Harrison Ford and Tommy Lee Jones. Some of the most amazingest, rememberable lines in any movie of all time. So I really do enjoy that one. Next up, we got Two Guns from Universal. I think this one is very underrated. I think it's action-packed. It's very explosive. It's very intriguing. And Best Buy had those amazing still books at a super cheap price recently. Next up, we got Titanic. From Paramount, I absolutely love this movie. It's a great romance, disaster, history film, you name it. It's covered in here with Leo and Kate Winslet. And I really need to upgrade this one to 4K. Why haven't I done that yet? Next up, we got Avatar The Way of Water from 20th Century. And this is a great sequel. Amazing visuals and sounds. You can't really beat it. Next up, we got Army of Darkness from Universal and Shout Studios. This one is always popping up back on the list. It's just selling so well because it's such a great quality uh, disc and all the different versions and special features and just really fun fantasy adventure movie. Next up, we got Thor Love and Thunder from Disney and Marvel. This still book was just selling so hot recently due to the massive discount. Not my favorite Marvel movie of all time. What else can we say here? Next up, we got Halloween Ends from Universal. Once again, another cheap still book from Best Buy. I think this movie was pretty bad. It just ah, it went off the rails with that third one. It could have been a great trilogy, but this one kind of lost its way. Next up, we got Shazam! Fury of the Gods from Warner. This still book was super cheap as well, and I love this movie. Very underrated. I highly recommend watching it. It's a very fun family superhero movie. Can't do better than that. Next up, we got Creed 3 from Warner and MGM. Not a bad Creed or Rocky movie, in my opinion. And yeah, still book once again, super cheap from Best Buy. They're getting rid of all their still books. So if they're still left, you might want to try to get one. Next up, we got The Expendables 4 from Lionsgate. Everybody knows I'm not a big fan of this one. I just don't like where the story went and the acting here from Megan Fox. I just can't get over. But there are some fun action choreography in here if you're just going for that. Next up, we got Kindergarten Cop from Kino Lorber, which is awesome that they really did a comedy here. We don't see a lot of comedies on 4K, so that's fantastic. With Arnold, I still need to see this one. I will pick it up in a future sale. Next up, we got Black Panther Wakanda Forever from Disney and Marvel. Once again, those still books went on sale, just like everything else at Best Buy. And yeah, people wanted to pick it up finally. And I think it's a decent sequel, not as memorable as the first. So next up, we got Make to the Trench. From Warner, Munch, 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 of course, uh, a recent still book as well that got super discounted. And it's a giant shark action movie with Jason Statham. You know what you get with that one. Next up, we got Dune Part 1 from Warner. Of course, people are preparing for Part 2. And this is a fantastic 4K disc with the visuals, the audio. And yeah, not really any complaints with that one. Next up, we got The Exorcist Believer. From Universal, I'm surprised to see this one so high, but once again, it had a still book that did get discounted, so now people waited to finally get that cheap price on this movie, because people probably heard not the best things. I wasn't really a big fan of that one, so hey, cheap deals will do a lot for physical media sales. Next up, we got Oppenheimer, number one from Universal. Oppenheimer has been number one for the longest time, it seems. Just everybody loves this one. It's doing so good during award season, getting tons of awards, cleaning up. You know, it's going to do amazing at the Oscars as well. So congratulations to Oppenheimer. I still don't get the over popularity with this one, with all the scientists just talking and all the political stuff. And it's a really long movie. You'd think it would be not a crowd pleaser, but for some reason, 
It is. Whether it's the visuals, the audio, the cast, I don't know. But it just got so much hype right now. And that's pretty cool in itself. But wow, we don't have really any new titles here on this list. I don't think there was one new one, if I'm not mistaken. It's just the old stuff, the old still books from Best Buy selling really well. The usual suspects we see on this list all the time. I think it's the first time I'm doing this report and not seeing a new title. So that's pretty shocking. Physical media, we got to start releasing some new good stuff in these upcoming months. Because right now in January, especially February, just seemed like a big drag. But now let's get into the market share breakdown and look at these different disc formats. And yeah, not too many big shockers or surprises here. This has probably been like one of the most stale weeks I've seen where the numbers are pretty much the same status quo here. Yeah, there's small fluctuations with 4K selling a little bit more, but only about a percent. Blu-ray selling a little bit less, but only by a couple few percent there. And DVD is, of course, selling a couple few percent more, but not really a big fluctuation. Once again, we're kind of in the dry months with February, where we're just not getting those hot physical media titles that everybody wants to buy. I mean, where are they at? Are they saving it for spring and summertime? I don't know why January and February always seems to just not be good for movies, whether it's physical media, streaming, going to the movies, whatever it is just seems like these are the weaker months in the year. So hopefully this turns around with the new spring season. But let's talk about kind of the future now and where I think things are going in terms of sales. So now talking about my predictions of sales here, and I think these sales are probably in the pits right now just across the board because once again, we want to see sales go up and field in some way, but there just hasn't been any of those new titles to really do so. This is all old stuff here that keeps reoccurring on these charts. And like I said, this is the first week where I saw not one new title, which is a little bit concerning. Usually you'll see a handful, sometimes as much as 10 titles, at least five, maybe three, but come on. Not a single one is a little bit concerning. Just what's going on? Are people being more protective over their wallets these days? Probably with the economy, how it's going, inflation, people aren't spending as much money, especially on physical media with collecting being more a luxury these days. And so this is just really, really tough right here for physical media. I'm sure sales are way down. Disney Movie Club announced that they're not even going to be taking orders after some time in May, which is just another person or company out of the physical media selling game, at least in one form. I know Sony's taking over distribution there and they're going to be changing some stuff, but still it just seems like more and more things are dropping out of selling physical media, which is never a good sign for the collecting community. I think sales are going to keep dropping and dropping overall. Now I'm hoping in spring we see a little bit of a rebound. Hopefully some new hot 4k titles come out. We sell a little bit more of those. Because once again, I would love to see 4k is around the 15% marker, Blu-rays around 30%, and then find DVD can have the rest because I know they're king and supreme and they kind of just dominate Walmart and the retail locations at this point. But I want to see some new really cool stuff come out to physical media and we've gotten some announcements not so long ago. So hopefully things get turned up a little bit here. But right now this week was just kind of a drag for physical media collecting. So hopefully it turns around sometime soon. But you guys let me know in the comments below what you think of the top selling 4Ks here. Are you happy with Oppenheimer just dominating everything this award season, including this physical media report? And then, of course, what do you think of the market share breakdown? Once again, kind of stale, right? Nothing too surprising there. And do you think physical media numbers will continue to decline? Or do you think there will be a bounce back in spring and summertime? Let me know what you're looking forward to. And, of course, if you love this physical media chattiness of amazing movies and staying up to date on all these movie numbers, go ahead and mega smash that like and subscribe because I'm going to keep you entertained and update all year long. And then, of course, if you love this physical media topic, go ahead and mega blockbust the next one right now. And thank you so much, my mega membership supporters.